All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to continue off where we left off and see if we survive. Day two. It looks like we have to start day two over again, which is fine, I guess. I don't remember what I had them do, unfortunately. I think I had Pavle eat and then sleep. He slept poorly. Why? He has a beautiful bed. Okay, well you're going to make another bed. And you are going to rummage. That's the plan. Grand plan. Come on, folks. Uh, yes. Make that. And put that here. I don't know why he slept poorly. Like, it's not cold. He has a nice mattress. Well, <laughs> nice as it can be. You know? There's no one disturbing him. There's no raid. So I don't- I don't get it. I don't understand. Come on, Katya. Come on. You go, girl. I wonder if it's randomized now, because... We found food last time that she rummaged there. But I don't- that's really annoying. I don't know if she will this time, and it's kind of necessary. I don't know if I should feed her or him. Uh, you can nap for now. And then you'll guard again tonight. And it'll be good. It'll be fine. I really feel bad making her like work this hard since she was just out foraging. But I don't really have a choice. So, tough luck. Katya. Tough luck. I noticed I've been spelling her name with a J. Excellent. It is the same. Okay. Um, instead of with an I. So, that's... I apologize. <laughs> I did not pay enough attention. Bruno, you need to go make some foodies. I wonder if they can break this stuff down. Maybe if I get like an axe or something, they can break that stuff out down and make into firewood because I don't think they need like a dresser. They don't really have many more clothes than what they're wearing. They never change clothes, ever. Pavle, how are you doing? Just slightly sick, but recovering. It's taking so long, I know. Make one out of books. And then... Cook. Yes. And then... I'm gonna give that to Katya, actually, because she's the one going out. So you just go sleep. I don't want to waste my whole day just digging. Because it is already 2pm. But I think it'll be okay. Are you going? Yeah, you are. Good, good, good. We're like little rats now. Like, rummaging through trash to find whatever little scraps we can to survive. But I guess that's what happens during Civil War. But I don't... There's been several different war situations in my lifetime. Um, like what happened in Egypt with the militarization and things like that. But I've been fortunate enough not to go through anything like that. Not to say that that might not happen to me, but um, at least for now, I've been fortunate enough to avoid, you know, war or anything like that. There are um, rumors or whispers that Russia is going to take over Finland and it is making a lot of people very nervous. Oh, good medicine. Well, we'll save that for now, because he's not... He's recovering, so he might recover without medicine, and I'd rather keep that for when... If someone actually gets legitimately ill. 
which could happen. So we'll try to avoid that. Oh, there's something up there as well that I haven't gotten. Okay, that's fine. We'll have her grab that once she's eaten, if there's still time. How are you? You're not tired anymore. Okay, well then you go up here and open that. And then Katya, once you're done, you can go sleep. Well, pff, no you can't, because night is coming in 30 minutes. So maybe I'll leave her to sleep, and then I'll have Bruno uh, go out and rummage through some stuff. So, at the end of last episode, I did get a chance to look at the map, um, and I did see that there was another place that had food, which I think I'm going to go to because um, it seems like it would be worth it. Supermarket. Lots of food, lots of meds, huge amount of weapons, huge amount of parts. Caution advised. Uh, we don't have a weapon, so I don't really want to go there. Lots of food, lots of meds. In this ho housing estate that remains almost untouched, it's a calm area, a little house with porches and gardens. Most of these houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead more normal lives there. We've got nothing unless we're willing to steal. Okay, I don't really want to steal yet because um, they do get depressed stealing from other people. This is also stealing. What is this? A school has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge. Old Town. Old Town used to be a crucial crucible of cultures, sorry, with its distinct mix of architecture styles, many great Gazni and Viseni restaurants and pubs, military positions in the overlooking mountains make it a dangerous place now. But if we take the risk, we might find some supplies there. I'm s I'm nervous about this because I don't really have anyone who's good at sneaking. Um, you guard, you sleep, and you scavenge. Um, I think... I want to go back here first. If I can find food here, then, and maybe get the rest of those weapon parts and stuff, we might be able to build um, some better stuff for ourselves. And then get like weapons and stuff. It makes me sad because all these people, like none of them are ruthless. So I kind of want to wait till we get someone who doesn't care about stealing. I know it's sad saying like, I wish they were more ballsy or whatever, or more heartless, but it's true. I wish that I had characters who didn't care as much because I don't have anything to make them less depressed. Like I, I can make a radio, I think that helps a little bit, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't want to take the risk. Does this take longer here than it would at home? Because this is taking ages. But whatever, if we find some food, it'll be totally worth it. No big deal. Oh, I hope Pavle gets better so that I can just have her sleep and have Pavle go out and scavenge the next night. And since he's a football player, he might be able to sneak a bit better than she can. I'm not sending Bruno out to sneak because, come on now. Come on now. Bruno's not the sneaking type. Not by body or by soul. He's a gentle giant. He gets also like the most depressed, I think, from stealing from people because he's like got some sort of heart of gold. So I'm not even gonna bother with that. Poor Bruno. Can't handle it. Can't handle the hurt. Come on, Katya. You got this. I know you're tired, but you got this. This is life and death here. Come on. Excellent. Okay. What's in here? If there's a fridge, that would be really good. Oh, there's a fridge down here. <gasps> I don't even want to look at this stuff now. Oh, but I do. <laughs> Grab off. What's in here? Actually, I don't even care. Just go down here. Take that. Yeah. Straight to the fridge. Everything else can wait. Oh, this is so good. I also need a saw so I can get through that. 
Oh my god, yeah, okay. Take. 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 I <laughs> Sugar is good because people buy it from you. Water is good. I don't need coffee right now. I do need this though. I can leave one. That's fine. Okay, what's in here? This place is actually really good for food. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, what does this make? Homegrown tobacco. None of them smoke. So I don't think I necessarily need it. I'm gonna leave that. Okay. I think I need more wood than I need that. Okay. That's fine. Again, like I said, we can come back later. This is just um, our initial sweep, which is fine. Wait, what's in here? What does this say? There's a note under the table, not actually hidden, but it could be easily missed. From the style of handwriting, you could tell it was written by a woman in a hurry. Milos. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I could not wait any longer. I hid some jewelry inside the books. Look for them in the basement. Inside carton boxes behind the bar door. Use it. Stay alive, please. God bless you. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we know that there's jewelry down here, and that's actually really useful because later we can come back and they are really good for trade, like I said before. Oh, excellent. Okay, so... Crap, now I have to make decisions. I don't need fertilizer. I do need this, though, and I do want the medicine, so I'm gonna leave these herbs for now because I don't have a thing to make it, anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this because I know that there's only rats on the other side. And this gives me an easy escape later. I don't think there's any way to get down here without finding a saw. Did I leave just wood here? I think I did. I did, yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. We'll just leave. <sighs> we found some food. Oh, hey. What's up, bro? On the fresh grave lies a carefully folded little origami flower and an ID of a man named... Oh, no, he died! Oh... Okay, well... Yeah, I won't mind you. I'm leaving anyway, so see ya! Enjoy! I took all the food. <laughs> Noob. Okay. What is up? A bit of indulgence. Yay! Good, we have meds. So the game is... Oh no, we've been raided! Take our things by force. Katya had been searching. Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Bruno was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. So, like I said, ratings happen, which is kind of a bummer, and Bruno's wounded, but we do have bandages, and we have medicine and things for, um, Pavle, so he'll get better with these tablets, and then we have extra medicine later for if someone else gets sick, so we'll just give him the bandages. Anyway, I'll leave the game here, and, um, hopefully we do a bit better next time, um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and please, if you enjoyed it, um, leave a like. And see you guys next time.